time, I'm Faith Herrera, your reporter for today. And our topic today is all about human acts. So, human acts or actus humanae refer to the action that proceeds from insight into the nature and also it is a purpose of one doing that um, or like a consent of your free will. So, specifically, the human acts is a once action done by a person in a certain situation that is essentially a result of your conscious knowledge, your freedom, and your voluntariness or action. So, obviously, it is performed only by human being, of course. And I, I mentioned also the voluntariness where we as human, um, we can able to volunteer. And our voluntary act proceeds from either our will itself. Because God give us a freedom of will that whatever uh, action we take or whatever choices we make, it is, we are accountable of that. And then, you can also express it in a, in a form of action of love or action of choice or whether it is from your action of intelligence, action of cognition, or it is action from your emotion. Where we, where we know that our emotions sometimes lead us into action. Monsignor Paul Glenn, he simply defines that human act is an act of which proceeds from a deliberate free will of man. Meaning, before our action produce or show, um, there's a deep thinking and discussion happen inside your head in order to make a certain decision. But Baldi Maka in 1984, he states that Human act is also classified as good and bad and the subject to morality and its norm. Always remember that we are belong to one vicinity or into a society where we need to follow the rules and regulations, the law and policies of this community, and, uh, and you need to become aware of the norms and standards as well. And then, always remind yourself that whatever action you take, there, uh, it is subject by morality and whether whether you know the right behavior or the wrong behavior. I already discussed to you the definition and to make it clear, I will show to you the three elements of an act to be considered or strictly considered as human act. And this is the knowledge, the freedom, and the voluntariness or consent. As you notice, these three make us different, we as human, and make us distinct from other earthly creature. Like, we have that kind of capabilities or abilities that animals and plants don't have. Textbook in Christian Ethics and Morality, uh, they simply distinguish between human acts and acts of human. Sabi nila, ang human acts daw ay pinag-iisipan talaga before we show it, while acts of human are simply action that happen in a person naturally even without your awareness while doing it. Right? Sounds difficult to understand, but for more information, the acts of human are such like a beating of your heart, um, your breathing or respiration, or you caught in a moment where, sad where there is a suddenly instant of fear, dreaming, sleeping, or instant of instant anger like that, or you're just like an involuntary action that you cannot control with. On the other hand, human acts are where person here is naturally mor morally responsible and you are accountable for this kind of thing. The next person we'll be discussing are no other than my partner, Arthur Nunez Patukal, and he is going to discuss to you the three basic elements of human acts. Thank you, partner. A pleasant morning to everyone. My name is Arthur Nunez Patukal. I will going to report about the top the three basic elements of human act. Ramon Agapay, in a book entitled Ethics in the Filipino, a manual of a moral for the students and educator, he lists down and briefly expand the following characteristic for an act to be considered as a human act. The first basic element of a human act, first, the act must be delivered. Second, the act must be performed in freedom. Third, the act must be voluntarily. First element is the act must be delivered, performed by a conscious agent who is uh, very much aware of what the person doing and of its consequences. Meaning, your action is pinag-iisipan. 
In short, it is a process where you begin to wet things and analyze what possible consequences you receive if it's good or bad to you. And unless if you initiate lunatic or under the heavy influence of a drugs and alcohol so so you can really capable to think and act deliberately. Second, the act must be performed in freedom. Human act are those that are freely chosen in consequences of a judgment of consciences. They're either good or evil. Their morality depends on the objective chosen, the intentions, and the circumstances. Doing right or wrong is a matter of a chooses of every individual. Each one of us have own chooses. We're just a human. Sometimes we commit mistake in our life, but even sometimes make a wrong in our life. We have an power to control and to choose our life to make a right things in our life. We are just a human, but we have the power to make everything better, not only for our life, but do a good things in having the power to change our world and to have a better life. Third, the act must be done voluntary when an action is proceed with the involvement of thought. They are called voluntary in action. It involves action like uh, walking, eating, and jumping, and running. Their, their actions are proceed uh, consciously, both the spinal cord and brain are involved and gener generate necessary involvements. To constitute a voluntary act for which a person may be held uh, crim uh, criminally liable, the act must result from the person's consciously uh, choose the actor consciously decide to move a part of his body and the movement of the body follows from that desires. Reflexes, spams, epileptic, and act while asleep or unconscious are considered involuntary.